You know, in the book of John, chapter nine, there was a story of a blind man. He was he was born blind. And uh, at some point, Jesus, Jesus healed him. And, and, you know, he went on from from being healed to be questioned by everybody and their mama. Right. I'm gonna just kind of summarize it like that. Everybody questioned him. You know, how did he heal you? What day did he heal you on? You know, who is this man? Jesus, is he a sinner? Blah, 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 blah. They were they they got all wrapped up in the details. And I see nowadays, man, sometimes we get so wrapped up in the details that we just forget the miracle that Jesus performed. We get so wrapped up in the law. We get so wrapped up in all these rules. We get so wrapped up in what's right and what's wrong within our own heart and mind that we just overlook the miraculous power and the saving grace that comes with the life lived in and through Christ. Listen, man, I don't have all the answers. I don't claim to have all the answers. In fact, I don't even care about having all the answers. I'm like that man that was in John 9, man. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I don't have all the answers. But here's, here's what I do know. I have tried so many things in my 46 years. I have tried so many different ways to be at peace, to be at rest within my soul. I have tried so many religions, rituals, drugs, sex, alcohol, you name it, I've done it. I've tried it all and ain't nothing changed for me until that day that I began to believe in Christ. We all believe something, right? We all gotta believe in something, whether we want to or not, it's just kind of how it works. We all believe in something and my life did not change until I began to believe in Christ. So that's my testimony. That's what I got for you. I don't know all the details. I don't know all, I don't know all the Greek and the Hebrew. I don't know all the this and the that, the Old Testament, the New Testament, the under grace, the under law. I don't, I don't, I don't know about all that. I know a little something, but I mean, I, I, don't, I don't get into all that. Here's what I know. My life was a complete mess, a utter mess. My life was destructive. I was depressed. I was, I was discouraged. I was, I was a mess, a complete mess, clueless, scared, full of fear. Didn't know what I was doing with my, with my life. And one day in the county jail, <laughs> I met the man named Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I just said, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll give you a try. I'll try Jesus. That's all I did was I, I tried Jesus. Didn't know what I was doing, didn't know what it meant, but I tried Jesus. I welcomed Jesus into my life and my life has never, ever, ever been the same. I'm like my brother in John 9. I can't give you all these details. I don't know how it all works, but here's what I know. Before Christ, I was a mess. After Christ, with Christ, my life is, I can't even describe how amazing I still got my flaws, my faults. I still, I still stumble and fumble. I still got pain. I still got suffering here and there. Ah, yeah, right? It rains on the righteous and the unrighteous. That's, that's, that's life. But I'm talking about my internal peace, my internal security, my internal stability. My life has never, ever, ever been the same. And if you too find yourself at a place where you are lost, you are confused, you are scared, you are depressed, you are discouraged, you are in the mud, man. Give Christ a try. Like truly pray, Jesus, come into my heart, come into my life, save me. Make me yours, make me your disciple, make me yours, make me your follower, make me yours. Redeem my life. Yes, welcome him into your life. And I can promise you, you will never have all the details. You will never have all the answers. But what you will have, you'll have a new life. You'll have a new life.